620, the holidays are here, and that means parties and family meals with delicious but oftentimes unhealthy foods. As part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health, we sat down with a dietitian who explains how you can enjoy the food you want this holiday season and not tip the scale. It's the most wonderful time of the year and also the tastiest. But Bon Secours dietitian Kristen Gunther says it's possible to enjoy holiday treats and not go overboard. Try to look at the sugar you're already consuming, such as maybe a sugary beverage, and say, you know, my goal for the month of December is to not drink any soda or any tea uh, and replace that with the occasional sweet cupcake or cookie or dessert. And besides all that delicious food at parties, there are sweets galore in the break room at work. Sometimes you might think of the idea of if you can half it, you can have it. So maybe if there is a cookie or a cupcake, um, maybe just cut it in half and split it with your friend or your coworker, and that way you're able to enjoy that treat. Um, but it's going to be in a more moderate way. And Gunther has good advice if you love hot chocolate or eggnog. Um, instead of thinking of eggnog as a beverage that you drink with your meal, think of it as a dessert that you have with your meal because it is so high calorie. Also, she says to be a mindful eater. You only enjoy food when it's in your mouth, right? And so as soon as you swallow that food, you're not enjoying it anymore. You don't have that flavor. So I like to tell people, chew your food slowly. Um, enjoy the taste that it gives you in the mouth. Swallow it. Maybe take a sip of water or put your fork down um, and then kind of reload. Check out our website. We'll be posting healthy holiday baking tips. And remember, we want to hear your health questions on our website. Click the News tab, then click Ask the Expert. And if you'd like more information on staying healthy, you can ask the experts of Bon Secours this Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on 106.3 WORD Radio.